Okay, here we go. This is John for PH Boxing Corner. Thank you for watching Alorda TV. Ito ang round number one for our very first fight between Romeo Tenorio and Julius Bala. So we can see uh, Ten Tenorio. This is second for six rounds. Oh, I'm sorry, four rounds. So Bala in the white and red and Tenorio in the yellow and red. Both sporting the orthodox stance. So, so far, so good. I, I think it's a good thing that um, maganda na yung sweat nila, no? So, it, it means they were able to warm up um, prior to this uh, bout. And uh, mahirap yung, if you're, dealing, if you're dealing with an opponent under four rounds or four, six rounds, you really have to get uh, in fighting shape right away, di ba? So it's a good combination from both fighters, good exchange. But they're still fe feeling each other out in this round, as you do. It's uh, round one. No? You can't really rush into your fights. Good shot from Tenorio. But Bala took that very well. Good overhand, pero nasingitan si Tenorio nung parang right, right hand. And, and that's important if you're throwing haymakers or power punches. You have to be very quick. Either makabalik ka sa de defense mo or keep your hands up. And uh, don't mention a kamali sa Tenorio. Let's see if yung mga mistakes will cost him later on this fight. Tenorio is actually in range. It's just that hindi tumatama on the button yung uh, mga headshots niya, no? So, siguro he just has to make a few adjustments as far as yung angles niya. Because, uh, he's, he, Bala is there to get hit. So, as we can see, si Tenorio in the yellow and red is really the aggressor in this fight. And Bala is really comfortable naman being the counter puncher. So, if you're a counter puncher, you have to exploit itong mga pagkakamali nitong opponent mo, no? And you have to time it very well also. But in, when you're a counter puncher, you can't be waiting all the time. So, you have also to set up traps, you know? You can also see uh, a red, uh, meron may redness na sa right eye ni Bala. And um, it seems that it came from a punch. And now, if you're Tenorio, you, you see that as a as a crosshair, the bayan yung target mo, because you, that's gonna come into, that's gonna be a factor later on in the fight. Good exchange there. That's a good round for Tenorio. And, and as you can see, dito sa instant replay natin, yun nasingitan doon ng parang counter right hand si Tenorio, courtesy of Bala. Medyo mababa kasi yung left hand niya, no? yung lead hand niya. So kaya siya nasingitan. Uh, oh, I think the right uh, cut dun sa right eyebrow ni Bala was caused by an accidental headbutt. And I think the... Uh, the referee saw that also. Again, we would like to thank Itong si Fast Cars, our nice electronics, be athletic, ice cream of the year, Vice Mayor Juan Villaferte, Mayor Edwin Olivares, Councilor Rico Goles, Barangay Captain Paul Casale, Fairtex, Sun Coast Light Water. Pokari Sweat and VSP Boxing Promotions. We are here at round number two between Romeo Tenorio and Julius Bala. Ito, mukhang nagpapalitan na talaga sila. They don't want this fight to go to the judges' hands. So, to be sure, you go for a knockout, whether you're a visitor or ikaw yung hometown favorite. Because in boxing, anything can happen. We know that. So, meron na rin konting redness dun sa left side ng face nitong ni Tenorio, no? Kasi, he's being really aggressive and uh, in the process, he's opening himself up for counter-attacks courtesy of uh, Julius Bala, who also has uh, no, heavy hands naman. 
So I think um, to be more effective, no, Tenorio should set up his power punches kasi medyo nakukuha na ni Bala yung timing ni Tenorio. See? Set it up with a jab first. Throw some feints in there. So ayan, medyo na si good right, overhand right from Bala. So mukhang matindi yung pay. Just down goes Bala with a short right hand from Romeo Tenorio. So ayun nga, if you get too aggressive, that's what you get if you're not being too careful. Si Julius Bala was actually having some success in that round. Yun nga lang, he got caught with a perfect right hand from Romeo Tenorio. So, giving the first round to uh, Tenorio in our unofficial scorecards, lamang na siya ng three points dito, assuming di makabawi si uh, Julius Bala. But this is just the second round, and uh, both fighters still look fresh. But Bala needs to make something happen, like that overhand right. That's perfectly timed. There, there he goes again. Bala cannot miss with that right, but he has to mix it up, no? So he, he can't keep doing the same combinations over and over. Sooner or later, makakuha na nung kalaba mo yung timing. Good right to the body from Bala. Good head movement naman from Tenorio. Kasi natikman niya rin yung power ni Bala earlier and siguro na-realize na this guy is no joke. So I really have to be, def be responsible also on the defensive side. Good, a stiff jab from Bala. So, let us see if uh, itong si Julius Bala can live up to his last name, no? Kung meron pa ba siyang Bala dito sa mga susunod na rounds because he needs to catch up. So, Bala is doing the right thing here, throwing jabs. Kasi yung jab... Not only will that, will that slow down yung momentum ng kalaban mo, it also makes your opponent think diba, before they attack. Let's look at uh, the replay. Baka makita natin dito yung knockdown. No? So you can see medyo nababother talaga si Bala with that um, right cut dun sa eyebrow niya. And clearly, they are here to hurt each other. Tignan nyo naman. They're throwing power punches back and forth, no? Here's a knockdown, I think. There you go. Pero medyo sa left side, sa ear, no? Ni, uh, tino, ni Bala tumama yung right hand ni Tenorio. But it is rightfully called a knockdown naman because it came from a legal punch. And... Bala hit the canvas with that punch. Now this is round number three. I believe this is scheduled for uh, four. Oh, I'm sorry. This is pala scheduled for six. Pardon me. So now, if, if you're Bala, you still have four rounds to work with, in, including the third round. No? So this is not a, a lost fight yet. But uh, he has to do something drastic here and really hurt siguro si Tenore just to change the momentum of the fight. Like any other sport, momentum is very important in boxing, diba? Okay, when you get into um, stretches na pumapasok yung punches mo, you have to be, take advantage kasi that's what the judges see, that's what the fans see, and um, it really gives you more confidence in, in the fight. Tenorio is really looking to land a big shot here. So let's see kung sino masisingitan dito. I think he hurt Bala in that exchange. But Bala is still standing, throwing. That goes to show how prepared these warriors are coming into this fight.
Good. On, up and yung uppercut with the left hook to uh, cherry on top, no? With, courtesy of Tenorio. Good combination. And that's good. He's trying to switch up yung combinations niya. Not just the jab straight, not just the overhand straight. You know, it makes it harder for Bala to read yung attacks ni Tenorio. So if you're Tenorio, if you're Bala, I'm sorry. Maybe you have to invest in the body more. Kasi hindi slow down yung offense nitong si uh, Tenorio eh. You have to take away some of that wind, di ba? Again, if you're watching this live, please share and comment how you guys see in the fight. Para mapanood din ng mga kababayan natin, mga fight fans from the Philippines and lahat, yung mga nanonood internationally. I hope you guys are enjoying the show. So this is just the first bout of um, Suarez Magali. And uh, Bala turned his back and I think he spit his mouth guard. And that's a bad sign. Again, so here's an instant replay courtesy of Elorde TV. So it's nice to see, no, na mayro tayong mga ganitong uh, replay so we can appreciate better yung work that these warriors put in the previous round. And this is round number four. I believe this is scheduled for six. So far... Oh, okay. So, four rounds pala to. So, if this is the final round, Bala really needs to empty his arsenal and go for go for broke. Kumbaga, lahat na itapon niya. Dahil uh, he's losing this fight. At this point in time, you can't box, you can't... If you're Bala, you, you can't really do anything na conservative. So you have to be more aggressive because you're looking for the knockout. And props to Tenorio for still trying to put Bala away. You know, some fighters, when they're, when they're in a comfortable lead, it, they, they tend to do a victory lap sa final round. But itong si Tenorio is giving us our money's worth dito sa last round na to. And anyone can get caught sa mga ganito exchanges. So who wants it more? That is the question. Did Bala punch himself out? Let's see if Tenori can take advantage. Now it's Tenori's turn. Actually, sa sobrang action pack nitong laban na to, parang pang ilang clinch pa lang yun na brinake ni referee. So that goes to show how much action we've seen from the start. We have a little over one minute left in this uh, round, in this fight. Good combination from uh, Bala. Let's see if meron siyang buzzer beater dito. But all throughout this fight, Bala never hurt itong si Tenorio. So, credit to Tenorio also for having a good chin. And I think Bala got hurt in that exchange. Tumigil siya, but medyo nabawasan na rin ng pop yung uh, punches ni Tenorio. Yeah, but for the for the young fighters, that's okay. As long as you're punching, kahit sabihin na natin na wala na masyadong power yan, if you're still punching, that's that's better than not punching, di ba? 
The, the judges want activity, aggression, ring general chip, accuracy, mga ganyan. So, you, you can tick off a few boxes if you're still punching, parang ganyan. So, what a show. What a way to start the show tonight para sa UKC Tiger 2022 Battlefield. Yeah, this is John from PH Boxing Corner. Dito tayo for Elordi TV sa uh, preliminary bouts ng Mag Suarez versus Magali for the WBA Asia Super Featherweight title and the RP Super Featherweight title scheduled for 12 rounds. Charlie Suarez still undefeated, 12 wins with 7 KOs, and Carlo Magali, the veteran, 25 wins, 13 losses, 3 draws with 13 wins by way of knockout. Yeah, that will be our main event this evening. So just tune in and enjoy the fights, guys. While we await itong uh, decision for this fight, we would like to thank our sponsors, All Fast Cars, Our Nice Electronics, Be Athletic, Ice Cream of the Year, and our friends from uh, the local government, Mayor Odwin, Edwin Olivares, Vice Mayor John Villafuerte, Councilor Rico Goles, Barangay Captain Paul Casale, and of course, Fairtex, Suncoast Lightwater, Pocari Sweat, and VSP Boxing Promotions for making this fight and this event happen. Salamat sa support. And for the fans watching, again, what a great way to start the show. Let's give a... A round of applause for Romeo Tenorio and Julius Bala for uh, opening up this great event, no? UKC Tiger 20, 2022 Battlefield. Again, based on our unofficial scorecards, I, I'm calling it 40-36 in favor of uh, Romeo Tenorio. But let's see how the judges see it. So that was a clean...